Ben Borelli. Um, grew up here in New York, in Westchester, in Harrison, New York. I'm the peer adherence educator. I'm here to uh, talk to people who are living with HIV. What I wanted to do was put together a living quilt of stories of people's triumphs and um, what they've actually gone through in their lives with HIV. I want this to be also a celebration of their lives. I get a little emotional when I think about it. When things started to turn around for me, once I accepted it and I started to attend support groups um, with Living Together, and then um, that opened up another door and, and um, introduced me to other avenues that were HIV related, support and, and other networks, and I started to get involved. Um, it, helped, it, made me, it helped me to feel good about myself and just the love in general um, that I got from other people, you know, helped me to just want to live. For me, it was really about being close to my family and being close to my loved ones and letting them know my situation and not having to go back into the closet again um, with another issue and keep another secret. And my family was really supportive. I would say it's definitely better to know your status and definitely just deal with it head on. I mean, everybody has a different process for how they deal with it or how they take it. But um, as being HIV positive, I feel like it's our responsibility to not spread the disease and take care of ourselves and you know, be proactive instead of reactive to the situation. I go around to different agencies um, or different offices. We have locations throughout the Hudson Valley. And I'll do the HIV testing. We utilize the rapid test, which means you get the results in under 20 minutes. I also do STI screenings, which I do a blood draw for. Um, I do a urinalysis for chlamydia, gonorrhea, um, and a blood draw for syphilis and hepatitis C. Uh, I also do the educational presentations on safer sex. So it's, you know, I go out and I do these workshops where I'll work with a lot of like college students or um, young teenagers themselves, and we just explore what safer sex is and how to make it more fun. Vine huyendo de la violencia eh, física y de los crímenes de odio. Ha sido una experiencia linda porque para mí tener VIH es tener una nueva oportunidad, una nueva oportunidad para valorarme como persona, eh, para poder dar un mensaje o para poder educar a mi comunidad y saber de que el VIH no es la muerte. Es una nueva etapa que tú inicias cada día y donde tú aprendes a ser responsable, donde tú puedes uh, cuidar tu salud, donde tú te preocupas por tu bienestar. It took me a long time to come to terms with the fact that I was HIV positive. You know, it hasn't always been easy for me to speak about it. I was angry, I was upset, I thought it was unfair. For some reason, I just thought it couldn't happen to me. You know, that mentality, why me, not me, you know, but the truth is, why not me? This virus is about you. Everyone has a different virus, so everyone thinks differently because we are different. But if we help each other as a group and as a, as, as a community, we, one day, we'll find a cure for this. When is that? That's in God's hands, you know. Es aceptar la enfermedad. En segundo, es echarle ganas a ustedes mismos o nosotros mismos, porque si nosotros decaemos, La enfermedad nos acaba. Sí, hay que hay que tratar de buscar toda la información y toda la ayuda posible porque sí la hay. No somos los únicos. Yo entiendo al principio es difícil. Si sí, yo me sentí igual, yo me sentí solo. Yo pensaba que era el único. Um, I've met some really nice people. 
and given me some hope. Um, I don't want to die, and I, I know there's a future, but sometimes it's really hard to picture it. And the people that I'm working with now are really giving me the encouragement to do that.